Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Triple F Ranch. So, I know you guys are probably a little shocked to see me back on YouTube, but I've been a very busy individual. I'm going to cut to the chase, explain what's been going on in my life, and make it short, sweet, and to the point. So, I got my private license back in 2019, and anybody that is involved in aviation and understands and knows how much of a financial commitment it is and how spent expensive it truly is. So I've recently become an instrument rated pilot and I told myself after that, I gotta get my tailwheel endorsement because I'm going to be an ag pilot as a career. I got into contact with a guy out here at the Greensburg airport. We do tailwheel training in a J3 Cub and he's allowing me to have access to his airplane virtually whenever I want. So it is, it works perfect because it's five minutes from my house. So I just get on, I get on uh, Google Calendar and I just block out the airplane for whenever I want to go fly. So it, it works out pretty awesome. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do some laps in the traffic pattern and go wave at everybody over at my grandparents house and then I'm going to be heading out there later so I don't know how many YouTube videos I'm really going to be doing but I do know some guys that I know personally do like to see my flying stuff so that's what we're going to be doing today go pre-flight get everything ready get the camera set up and, and get rolling during my instrument training I was out here a lot studying and I saw these guys pull this thing in on the trailer this thing is awesome I don't know exactly what it is. It is a just aircraft. I think it's a super stall. That's what it says on the wingtips. Freaking landing gear is crazy. This thing is so cool. I would have so much fun in this thing. <laughs> I just thought maybe you guys would like to see that. That thing is awesome. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me. I've got a fancy little thing that you can hear me talk through the mic for my GoPros. Adjust the seatbelt real quick. I cannot reach the flap slip. A little bit more. There we go. That'll work. All right, we are set. Greensburg traffic Cessna, November 8, 4, 9 or 5 X ray is taxing to the runway. Greensburg. The winds are a little bit weird right now. It keeps like our runway is 1 and 1 niner. The wind is constantly swinging back and forth. Um, it's a pretty much a direct crosswind right now, which is fine. There's, I have no issue with that at all. But it's it's favoring both runways intermittently. So at this point right here is where I start to do the run-up checklist. I'm going to skip through it on this video particularly. If you guys want to see me do like pretty much the full flight videos, just let me know in the comment section below. It's a really bad habit to get into is forgetting to check the tack times because most of the time my flight instructors have always done that. So they should force students to do that early on so we do not forget. Greensburg traffic November 8495 x-ray is back taxiing to runway 1 Greensburg. Going to be a long taxi. All right, after seven business days, we have made it to the end of the runway. We're just going to flip her on around and head out. Run-up's already done. Okay, we're just going to roll on through. Greensburg traffic, November 8, 4, 9, or 5 extra is taking off runway 1. Greensburg. Slight crosswind correction here. Airspeed's alive. Everything else is in the green. Rotate at 60 knots. 60.
climb out, 80. Oh, we're getting such a good climb rate with just me in here. Greensburg traffic, session November 10050, transitioning the area about five miles to the east, Greensburg. Greensburg traffic, November 8495, X-ray is turning crosswind for runway one, Greensburg. Keep an eye on that traffic. Greensburg traffic, Cessna, November 8495, X-ray is turning left, downwind for runway one, Greensburg. Light wind correction angle here, and we're beam the numbers. RP, we're at the wide arc, reach for 10 degrees of flaps. Doing the traffic pattern a little more wide, just because we have the uh, crosswind component pushing us a little bit closer to the runway, so that is why I'm holding a bit of a crab angle. Greensburg traffic, Cessna November 8495, X-ray is turning base for runway one, Greensburg. Uh, that was a bird. That was close. Second notch flaps coming in. Greensburg traffic, November 8495, X-ray is turning final for runway one, Greensburg. Elevator trim is set. Slower down just a little bit more here. A little bumpy. Whoa, good night. And made the runway. Hold it off, hold it off. Found the runway on that one. Flaps down, car heat in, going back to full power. So as I'm editing this video, I notice that I keep saying flaps down as I'm cleaning up the airplane to do the touch and go. What I mean by that is I'm putting the flaps lever down, in turn bringing the flaps up. Oil pressure, everything is still good. Flaps down, elevator trim is good. Primer's in and locked. RP is off, mixture full and powerful. Landing could have been a little bit better, but that's okay. Greensburg traffic, Cessna, November 8495. X-ray is turning crosswind for runway one, Greensburg. Had a little bit of gust come across when we, uh, we got about between those trees. Greensburg traffic, November 8495. X-ray is turning left to downwind for runway one, Greensburg. That traffic has not said anything for a minute, so I would imagine he's clear of the area. Because he was he was transitioning to the east, so I would imagine that he is well out of the area. Reduced power, carb heat is on, flaps 10. 20 degrees of flaps, going to 80 knots. Air slide up trim. Carb heat on, mixture full. Flaps 10, fuel selector boat. Greensburg traffic, November 8, 495. X-ray is turning final, runway 1, Greensburg. Sorry guys that you didn't get to see really a whole lot there. For some reason my GoPro got too hot. It's not, I, I'm feeling around on it. It's not that hot. It shouldn't have shut off, but 
we're gonna we're gonna do another landing. We just did some flyovers by my grandparents' house, of course, in a very safe, controlled state, legally and physically. We were in a sparsely populated area with plenty of places to land in the event of an engine failure at a safe altitude. We're going to get out this way a little bit, get away from the runway. Greensburg traffic, November 8495 X-ray is on the upland of runway 1, Greensburg. Alright, we're in traffic pattern altitude. It's a little bumpy today. I uh, I woke up this morning and was just, I was going to fly at 8 this morning. I like flying either in the morning or in the evening just because it is cooler, number one. The winds are lower and there's a lot less turbulence. Like You can see me getting bounced around a little bit. So it takes a little bit of joy out of it just because it's not, it's not as fun flying in cold winds when it's like freaking glass outside. So... Um, I was just too tired this morning, Practic practicing safe aeronautical decision making. Could I have flown? Yes, I could have, but personal, personal minimums say otherwise. Greensburg traffic, November 8, 495 X-ray is turning left, turning crosswind for runway 1, Greensburg. Greensburg traffic, Trinidad 1866 Sierra is taxiing from the apron to runway 1. Greensburg. Greensburg traffic November 8495 X ray is on a left down one for runway one. Uh, okay, X ray, we'll let you go ahead and uh, come on in and we'll wait for you. Great, thank you. I was getting ready to contact you as well and uh, see what you wanted to do. I could have hung out up here if uh, you were going to be quick, but I'll go ahead and bring her in. Thank you. Airspeed's good. Throw in a little crosswind correction here. Slowing that airspeed down. We need a little up the trim. Some more. We've already made the runway. Bumpy. Pick it in that right rudder. Hold it off, hold it off, hold it off. Beautiful landing. There we go. Alright. Flaps coming down. Carb heat's going in. Picture full, yep, and we're opening the damn window. Greensburg traffic November 8495 X-ray is clear of runway one. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Have a safe flight. Have a good day. Alright. Good. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. As much as I enjoyed flying it. Of course, aviation is my love. This is absolutely, absolutely my love in life. So I'm chasing this as a career, and uh, by divine intervention, I was able to get in contact with this dude and doing my tailwheel training. He's a CFI also, so I can rent this plane whenever I want, and everything's working awesome. See you guys in the next video.